Welcome into post game as we're talking with Rochelle Pinto and Akeno Little. Uh, first things off, we'll start off. Both of you guys, how did it feel to come away with the win in the first round of the postseason? Um, really relieving, to be honest, because I think as postseason began, it's very much like what's going to happen. Like everyone, I feel like is super nervous. So coming out with the win today, I feel like really gave us the confidence to go into next weekend. Um, I think it felt really good, mostly because we've been preparing all week. And just to know that our hard work is paying off feels really good. So. Perfect. Uh, both of you guys don't score a ton of goals, and you both flipped the stat sheet today. What was that like? Getting, how did you feel, I guess, getting those two goals for you, Rochelle, and one for you? Um, I haven't scored since the beginning of the season, so it felt pretty good, especially because it was from far out, and I wasn't really expecting to score. And especially because, like, at the beginning of the game, I think it personally started off rough for me. So it kind of just gave me the confidence for the rest of the game. Um, I'd say, like, kind of similar to kind of, like, I haven't scored since the beginning of the season, like, more so in preseason. And so I think coming out today and having those goals, it came as, like, a surprise to me. Um, like, I've played midfield all season, and then I got put as forward. So I think um, I'm kind of just glad that I was able to execute that as a forward and do my job. Talk a little bit about the, the quick start for you guys, because no coach, one of his challenges to you guys going into this, this game was get that first goal in the first 15 minutes. How did it feel to, to be able to, to follow up on that and actually be able to, to, to hit that, that goal? Um, I'd say it felt really good uh, doing what coach asked, because I feel like there's some games where he wants us to start really fast and execute like as soon as possible, and we straight up don't. And it's like a whole battle back and forth between teams in a lot of games. So I think the fact that we were able to do that today, it's, it's a really good um, sign of growth from this entire season. Yeah, I think that when we score early, and as we did, like it sets the tone for the rest of the game. And the other team starts to push off more. And so it really helps to not only control our mindsets, but to control our touches and everything else. Um, Rochelle and Akena. Um, I, when you scored your second goal, I could hear your teammates kind of crowd around you, and I heard them cheering for, let's get that hat trick or something. Mm -hmm. Along those lines, um, what's the kind of support in, amongst the team that you have? Well, I feel like not just for people who score, but I feel like the support for like one another is very strong in our team. Um, uh, I think the support I felt when I scored was obviously amazing. I mean, <laughs> felt really great, but also, I, there was a lot of support for like players who don't play as much and they get in the field and everyone is going crazy for them on the sideline. Be like, let's go, put the energy. So overall, like it's really good support and I love my team for that. Yeah, I think that our team chemistry is like like no other. Um, since day one, like we've just been really connected and like I feel like we can both go to anyone if anyone has any problems and I feel like the other players would feel the same about that, so. Akena on the defensive side, I know you guys have been hungry for that clean sheet to get back onto the clean sheet list. Um, was that something that you guys had talked about as a defense as far as one of your guys' kind of group goals to, to make sure that you kept that zero up? Yeah, so definitely last week we also had that goal of a clean sheet, but obviously that didn't happen. So we wanted to do more today. We wanted to work harder and to see if we can actually get it. And I think that it really like pays off when we do get it, especially looking at the sheets and the stats for the other teams for next week. Moving on, you guys are going to the semifinals now. What's on your minds heading into that game? Um, I think just like being ready, like make sure, making sure that like our mindset is in, and just literally being ready for anything that is put at us. I mean, me personally, I'd say I'm like really hungry to win because we didn't beat Casper earlier in the season, and I think it was like a really disappointing loss, I'd say, for the entire team. So for me personally, I, I want to come out really hungry and very like I want to win this because I think from a sophomore standpoint, I don't want to lose in the semifinals. So for me, it's a little bit more personal, uh, especially considering that like we also never won against Casper last year till when I'm my freshman year. So. Knowing that it's pretty much road the rest of the way, how do you guys get yourself ready for, for kind of that road trip and the next one, hopefully, after that? So I think it's going to take a lot of like mental preparation and a lot of like focus. I think this coming week, I think this coming week in trainings and all of our habits and stuff, it's all really going to come to play. 
And so I think those little things are gonna add up and help us prepare if we do things right for the upcoming game. Yeah, I think it's the little things. Like she said, creating our good habits and making sure that they stick and just being mentally ready and just fixing those tiny things that like we've had trouble with in the past. So. Guys, thank you so much yeah, for taking you. some time. Thank you. Head coach Lugo Arenas joining us post game as the Golden Eagles coming away with a 4 0 win over Gillette College to open the postseason. And Coach Starters, just talk a little bit about the game and, and you're just open the thoughts. I think we got a good group of 11 that started out the game with just positive energy and then the energy that we needed just to move forward. And for them to build the lead 2 0 and then capitalize in the second half and bring that same type of energy, I think that's what really drove us. I mean, our front three just never stopped working. and. I think that was the mindset going into the first time we played Gillette to the second time, that was going to be the difference maker. So I was super ecstatic for them. And there's still little things we can prep to get ready for next weekend. But I think as a group as a whole, they all just showed that they were ready to play today. Um, there nearing the end of the game, you were kind of, I could hear you kind of amping the team up saying we, you know, we finished the game. I guess how did you, how did that last like 15 minutes or so kind of finish out? Did, was it to your liking? Yeah, I think just the composure. I know at times, like especially when a lead like that pops up, like you get a lot of players that just get that mindset, oh, I want to push forward, I want to get a goal, I want to shoot. But I think for our team to hold their shape and then just understand the responsibility and the role that they have, I think that was the perfect reminder for them. And then they just finished out like just playing smart, not doing anything dumb that we didn't need. But for them, I think as a group, I mean, it's just the small details that they start to really perfect. So I was super ecstatic, again, just with the, the way that they finished out the game. I know we were a little shaky at the first half to finish that out, but towards the end of the game, I think they really tightened up. It seemed like for about 70 minutes, that defense was almost untouchable. Even when they made some good pushes forward, there were really nothing that was on frame or, or even in that six yard box, or 18 yard box. How, 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 you've always had confidence in that defensive back four, but, but how do they keep on proving to you how good they are? I think just that chemistry right there. I think they start to play with each other for so much. And you understand, OK, this is what a tendency that this player does. Now I have the chance just to move into this area. But for them, the more they play together, I think the, the better that they get. And that's what's crazy. I mean, we've hit postseason, and they're still getting better. Then I, I can't stop their energy just to want to perfect the little things that make a difference, especially in this area where we've talked about all it takes is one mistake. And that could be the end of your season, or it could be the reason why you move forward because the other team makes a mistake. So for our back four, and even just a keeper to hold that communication and understand the spacing where they need to be. Like, they're really working well, well right now when we need them most. Having Rochelle and kind of come in and talk, um, what kind of impressed you about their games today, both having great goals, uh, too, for Rochelle there? Yeah, I mean, with Akena, I think she's just adapted. She's normally not in that position. And when we recruited her, that's not what we anticipated. But some of the traits that she does really well allowed us to at least expand what she's able to do on the field. and. I think she's adapted really well. And then in Rochelle's case, she had no idea she was starting today. Like within the last probably three or four games, she hasn't seen the starting lineup. And for me, just I just had a hunch in what like the energy she was going to bring. And she took advantage of it and capitalized it. And it's one of her reasons on showing me, like, coach, this is why I need to see the field more. And I love that because you want to see your players, regardless if they're playing or not, always want to get better. And at this time of the year, if they still have that energy, that's what's going to take us far into the postseason. We were just talking on the broadcast or during the course of it about the ability just to put shots up. How big is that for you as a coach, whether it's a defender like a Kenna or, or CC or a midfielder coming up or, or your forwards doing it, that everybody knows you just want shots put in. A quality shot still, but on the same side, a good shot is better than no shot. I think confidence has grown, and I think that was the difference maker. Earlier in the year, we struggled just, one, creating shots, but then two, just finding the back of the net. And as the season's gone along, I think that's been our, our turnover is it's, we've been able to at least find a lot more shots and then not just in specific areas or specific players. Like, I mean, you'd seen McKenna today. Like, I think that's just their second goal of the year. And Rochelle, just to pick up some tallies as well and just different areas of, of the field for players just to grow confidence. Like, hey, I've got time. I've got space. I can pick my head up and shoot. I think that's what makes me feel as a coach. Like, they're taking advantage of their moments. And for them, they're, they're still hungry to want to get that goal. You had a lot of success last year in the playoffs. Um, how does it feel to get another one notched on your belt? I mean, it, it feels good for the kids and more so for myself. Like, it does. It comes down to minor detail. So as a coach, when things go well, like, you feel better about it. Knowing at the end of the day, like, you just got to make sure that they show up and play and that they're able to perfect the things that we've worked on all week. 
Um, but again, now it's back to the drawing board. I can feel good about it for maybe another couple hours before I start to think about next week when we head to Casper. Talking about that, I asked the girls about it, but but for you, you know this going into it that, that this is the last home game. Does that help you almost kind of preparing them mentally for, for what's ahead when you know, hey, it's going to be a road test at the very minimum? Is that something that makes it a bit more easy to, 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 to prep them? I think so, but a lot of it just comes from our sophomores. I mean, we did that last year. We went to Western Wyoming, and they had that mindset too. We didn't know we were going to host the game, especially in the finals, but for them, like anything can happen. And so for them to just be road warriors and understand that regardless if we're home or not, you still got to show up and perform. And I think that's the big test for us. And within these final four teams, it's always just a crapshoot. I mean, we saw two upsets last year, and hopefully we can get some magic going our way and prove that we can do the same thing. I mean, those final four teams are just so neck and neck. And every game's going to be a close game from this this point on out. Coach, appreciate the time. Congrats on the win, and, and look forward to chatting with you after Casper. Sounds good. Thank you. Thank you.